Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. Last episode, we started on a really cool mine inside of this piece of land here. It goes really deep down inside. I'll show you for those of you that missed last episode. We'll just turn the shaders off. We go down here. Oh, shaders are on. Yeah, shaders are on. That's why we can see down here. Are they? Or are they off? They're off. How can I see down here? How is there the light? Huh? Shouldn't it be dark down here? Shouldn't it be? I don't know. What? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but yeah, really cool mine down here. So we started off with some ideas on how we're going to do the beams to make it look structurally sound. Uh, we need to do that all the way down, but we've got this sort of big circular style one, like a big quarry. And we want to have like lifts and stuff. Uh, coming down from these beams, lifting up crates of ores. I want to tidy up the walls in a way that we have like actual strategically placed ore veins. Uh, maybe mixing in some cobblestone and all that kind of stuff. Ah, night vision potion. That's why I can see. Aha! Night vision. I, that confused me for a minute. There we go. That's why I could see. Uh, we need some sort of staircase as well to get down to these um, other levels. Unless we use tunnels, like the tunnels that we sort of made last episode. Maybe we sort of link them down to go down. I don't know. We'll, we'll need to figure out. I don't want to do anything inside here today, though. We're going to be working on the front. Let's go out here. Let's get rid of that. Let's get me wand back. And uh, let's get down this dock. So we can go from there to there. What block is that? That's 5-1. I hit the minimize button again. <laughs> <laughs> set five one beautiful so we sort of laid out a a rough plan of our uh our dock last episode which is something like uh this shape so we'll go there to there this one to that one and then this other little one up here now we can also save some time here by copying and pasting the crane that we already have built over there because i want another one over here they'd probably build them the same so we'll just grab that one so we'll fly over here i really like that little boat there i don't know why it just it just stands out i think it might be the colors or something like that uh boy the the controversy behind this crane when i built it the amount of people that commented saying there were no cranes in medieval times is crazy i did not I did not think that people did not know that. But basically, every single person that said, AJ, you're stupid. There was no cranes in medieval times. I just linked them an image. Uh, I linked them a, a Google page with literally thousands of real-life medieval cranes that look very similar to this. <laughs> and, like, most people commented back saying, oops, oh, yeah, I didn't realise. And some people were like, no, they did. It's all fake. It's like, no, it's not. They they really had them. They, it's just what they had. So I want it off the edge here. So we need to uh, rotate by 90. I need to place somewhere here. Now I know it's going to take a little bit of the um, dock here. But we're okay with that. We'll just add those in. I don't want it to be a stone dock on the edge like we do on that one. I want it to be a, a wooden edge. So we'll just... Know, tie this in somehow like this that's about right so we've got the crane over on this side as well it's a little bit tight there isn't it does it matter it probably doesn't matter it's just, it's not like a, a a big dock this is just like a working dock you know it's for, for the mine shaft and stuff so we also need an entrance having a hole in the ground is all good and everything but it doesn't look that neat now i've got an idea that i want to try here we grab oak logs, and I want the logs to get bigger, or, or I want the, the square that we'll make to get bigger, the further we go up. So let's go in here a little bit, just sort of do a rough design. Something like that, okay, that's nicely in the middle. And then we'll have something like a small one, or small-ish one, like that. Maybe I could even go smaller like that and then we go like two blocks out and we go a block bigger 
strong one. And then I think I'd like to go one bigger. So like that. And then that one. I might have to trim away a little bit of the ground. I might not. I might not. Something like that. So it gives this sort of downward effect. Now, I want to tie these together somehow. Let's let's add something like this. And then that goes over the top. And that one goes there. And then that one and that one. I can't do it on that side because the rock's there. And then we come in again by two blocks. And then I can let the night vision potion wear off now. It's fine. That one. Oops. And that one. And then that'll go in there. And this will probably go into ones that go all the way down. But they sort of look like they connect together. And then I think we want some sort of top on here as well. Do we want to do it so the stone goes over the top of it? Or do we want to have some sort of wood over the top? I still want more of this sort of stuff going on. Something like that. These are the front ones, so they've got to be the strongest ones. Yeah. Fences. We'll do what we've sort of done on the inside here. We'll just sort of brace, brace them up with the fences. Like that. Like that. Like that. We'll just sort of work our way down. This could be a smaller one. They can be on like that. Okay, and what about the top though? Because that looks a little bit empty. I sort of might go with stone or cobblestone because it's been because it's sort of been mined. Oops, I threw the fence. Let's try and get something like this. I might not have it completely flat, so we sort of drop it back down a bit and here and there. this okay might have to do a little bit of better blending because it looks just a little bit flat here at the moment let's go on the underside here put in some of these make it look a little bit sort of rough Okay, from the underside it looks cool. I'm happy with that. From the top side it looks a little bit flat. And it looks a little bit square as well, doesn't it? Like if we bring this out here. It just doesn't look quite as square anymore. And then we'll build this down. Something like that. Yeah, much better. Okay, let's give a little bit of top to this. that I think I might have to go up one or two more levels as well something like that oh yeah okay and then I think we can do one more small one like that so I sort of randomly clicked about a little bit to get like uh, uh, it sort of matches into the terrain into the normal stone but looks a little bit worked, a little bit more used. Oh, this side wall. Do we fill that in as well? I think we do. I think we do. I want to try and get some texturing on the inside as well. So I'm trying to sort of fill up both at the same time. It's working most, concentrating more on the inside at the moment. So if we're on the inside here, look. It looks a bit like a, a textured wall a little bit. Yeah, and then okay, I think I like that. 
Yeah, I think I like that. I think that's a nice mine entrance. Okay, so now that we've got the mine of torches, let's get a little bit of light on there. So we have a natural entrance. It looks because it goes really dark really quickly. I think it looks really smart down there. Got a couple of those on there. A couple of those on there. A couple of those on there. Let's widen those ones out. Yeah. So they, they really emphasize that it goes deep and dark very, very quickly in there. I like that. Let's get some um, rails. And what we'll do is we'll do some sort of standalone, non-moving um, minecart parts. So we'll have something like this. Maybe that one goes out a bit further. And then that one goes shorter. And that goes even shorter. Okay. Uh, how would we have stoppers? Like a, probably just a log, right? A log there, a log there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Minecart. We'll have a normal one. We'll have a furnace one. We'll have a chest one. Normal one. Furnace one. Chest one. Maybe then another normal one there. So they're just sitting there as decoration. But then what we want to have is one that comes up i'm going to go up the left side here so the right side is like the person sort of style walking one and then this is going to come out to the dock we'll need some powered ones probably somewhere if we wanted it to actually uh, move we'll go up there put a log at the end i lost me log like that We'll do another one here. Okay. Now we can flip those with a lever. That's cool. And we'll have just for... Uh, of this one. How would I get that to curve? I'm going to have to go like, uh, oops. I'm trying to get it to curve there and then take that one away. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And then that one could be flicked like that. This one could be flicked like that. That one could be flicked like that. So everything, we can basically get the minecart anywhere that we wanted. Yeah, because that would go straight up and around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can do it any direction we want. But we wanted to go this way. Let's do a minecart. Let's do like a, a line of these chest ones. Like they're ready to be loaded a, onto a, a ship. And I suppose this is a good time. Let's get a night vision potion back. It's probably a good time to uh, get this sword as well. So I'll just sit this on some blocks here it looks pretty smooth like i don't want it to go down every single block i like the sort of two and then a one and then a three and it slowly works its way down as long as you don't go up anywhere we should it should look okay yeah cool so then at the bottom here we'll just do something like that for the minute Now, on the way down, we probably wouldn't need any powered rails at all. But to get it up here, if we wanted... To, do we want it to go up? Yeah, I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be really cool to have some, uh, like, one at least on a circuit. So it sort of went up, looped back around, and then went back out again. So you could we could have something like... Yeah, like if we'd just done something like... Man, it would be really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that'll loop around and that'll come back. Um, powered. Now, how would we power these? Levers underneath? Probably. Now, I don't think we need too many of them. This is just to sort of keep it going. Or I could just leave them next to him. That would be fine. 
I don't know if I, I doubt this is enough at all. We'll just have to see. At the moment, I'm just randomly placing some down. And if it's not enough, we'll just add more. Okay, now I need another loop like how I had at the top. I can, if I leave her that. Good. Okay. For the moment, we'll just power these with levers. I sort of like, I, I actually like the aesthetics of the levers going down. Like when you're building mine shafts in survival, you usually don't want to be able to see these. But for some reason, I sort of like all the levers about on the floor. Okay. Um, let's go that way. Yeah, boy, do you need a lot more than what I thought. <laughs> Let's have another one there, then. Yeah. Because we want it... Because it's got nothing in it, uh, maybe we should do it... If we had a, a minecart chest, do they run faster because it thinks that there's something actually in it? I think they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, so let's see how far this gets. Going down isn't a problem, right? I don't want to hit it on the way up, so I'm going to stay over here. Go on. Go on. My vision's running out. Yeah. So that's now on a, on a loop back and forth. I would add more than one, but I'm always concerned that they'll just catch up to each other from going, um, from like ending the world and joining it again. Now we had a, uh, we have not had, we have a roller coaster on the main city world that has a NPC in it that just goes round and round and round and has been for about 200 episodes now. Be cool if this one didn't stop either. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so let's just get this, this, this dock built up then. Um... I don't know what the easiest way to do it is. Probably something like this. Because it, it's such a small... Or because it's like a, a mineshaft dock. It doesn't need to look pretty. We're just going to paste down... Um, a load of posts and stuff. I don't really care if they're not... Um, like, centred or anything. Yeah, rotate 180. Paste. Paste. Whoop, don't touch it. Paste. That'll ruin it. He's still going. Paste. Oh no, I don't want it there. It needs to be, um... Paste. Cool. And then this one is rotated again. Paste. Paste. So that's like all the ones that certainly needed, right? I might put another one over there. Oh, I missed one here. I'm not in the way. Quickly before it comes back. Oh no! Oh no! No! <laughs> Off you go again. Uh, no! Undo! Go on, on your way. That's hilarious. Paste, there we go. Okay, um, now that's in. Do we want like um, stairs on the edge? I think so, because I think it looks just a little bit nothing going on uh stairs let's go with a different color though might even go with birch jungle
or cobblestone. Cobblestone could give a miney feel. Now I wanted a wooden I wanted a wooden look. Now I'm gonna go to jungle. No. Straight oak. Keep it simple. Why why make things complicated when you don't need to? So let's run these around the edges. Just gives us a bit more of a two-tone look. Then we have this on here. And there. Back into the land again. And then. So we could make that minecart go literally to any rail that we want that we've placed down. Because of all the junctions that we've put in. Quite interesting. I mean, we could, we could probably set up some really fancy, fully automatic thing. So it goes to different places and maybe even pick stuff up and load stuff back off with hopper ones and, and all that kind of jazz. But I don't think we really need that too much yet. Fence. Now, for a little bit of detail. Do we do fences just all the way along all of these? I think so. And then I think I want just a little bit of cobblestone walls underneath for support or something like that. Some trap doors, just something to make it look a little bit more not boring. So I'm going to put fences in everywhere for the moment, but we will probably take some out so we can get on and off boats. Oops. I'm just going to do that. Just so it ties in nicely. And then one more down here. Okay. Tops of the logs here. Do you want to go up like by another one or anything weird like that? No. Slab. Just go with a dark slab. Or cobblestone. Yeah. We'll go with a cobblestone slab on top of these. And then we'll use cobblestone walls. I think underneath it. Like how we use the fences on there. You know how we just put them in the corners as braces. We'll do that, but with cobblestone walls underneath the bridge. So yeah, something like that. And then we get the walls. Underneath on these. That one. That one. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, really, really cool. Okay, uh, crafting tables. Probably some furnaces over on this side. Um, chests. Just as a little bit of detail to finish off the episode. We'll go with uh, a few crafting tables around here. couple of furnaces I like it when furnaces are sort of doubled up don't know why just looks cool and then chests uh, using trap chests and normal chests so we can stick them together and stuff oops wrong way huh, mind it <laughs> uh, like that do some around here. There's nothing down here. And that one. Keep it away from the track if you can. A mm, couple more up here. Now I don't need to worry about like doing lobster pot style things or anything like that. Like we have over there. I think that's really cool, right, as the mine entrance. I don't think we really need to work on it any more than that. we just got to, like, finish off the inside of the mine at some point. If you guys enjoyed the episode, though, hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!